uh, on court, and that's Tony Trabert and John Newcomb. All right, Fire, thanks very much. Uh, Sampras won the first set. It was a struggle. played one another before, Newt, so this is a testing time, the first uh, half dozen games. Yeah, pretty much uh, a game of baseline rallies. Neither player likes to serve and volley. They prefer to serve and then get into the rally, play the point from there. It really has been, as you said, a searching out period, these first six games. to hit the off forehand and gets a really good angle on it from here he is what a meter or two behind the baseline and is still able to get that fantastic angle he's a big tall fellow Yelanui he's six foot four a meter 93 29 years of age Best career ranking, the highest he's been is uh, number 15 in, in May of 2000, so he knows his way around a tennis court. He's had some good wins, uh, at this moment ranked number 25 in the world. And Leighton Hewitt here is seeded number 5, 30-15. 40-15. Record attendance here yesterday at the championships, 40,834. A record for the first Friday. Up about 1,800-odd from last year. They were blessed with good weather the first few days of this tournament, so they're up 14,000 over last year. to get into and then go in behind the big fella as he moves him around Ooh, the baseline he's won a few points like that similar the type of point that uh that a Illinois won with he finished it off with his big forehand still pretty slippery back there he was way back behind the baseline you see how worn the courts are for a meter or two behind the baseline but further back still that green grass 40 30. Knocks off that forehand volley and leads four games to three. Welcome back to Wimbledon, round three of the championships. And Eunice Elanui looking to be the first uh, Moroccan to get to the round of 16s if he can take out Leighton Hewitt. And Hewitt also looking to get in the round of 16s for the first time here at Wimbledon. It's his third visit. Let's first serve. He's been disappointed he lost to Becker the first year on this very court. Jan Michael Gamble, but he got the monkey off his back here by winning his last round in five sets against Taylor Dent. It was a tough way to get the monkey off his back yep. too. Gee, you have to fight all the way in that match, but this centre court out here has a way of making you grow up or else you go away. Thirty love. Thirty love. Well, that's a good forehand. We've already seen a powerful forehand, the off forehand. That time, the cross court trading forehands. Thirty fifteen. This one lands a little short from Hewitt. You can see it just landed over the service line. 
and it got punished. Another huge forehand from Elanui. Hewitt's been going to his forehand a little bit. He might back away from that for a while. Similar types of game, these two, Nuke, except Elanui looks as though he's got a little bit more firepower, a little bit more pace of shot. And uh, he's the tall lad, 6'4", metre 93, as I said, and Leighton Hewitt, 5'11", and metre 80. Gave him another forehand to have a go at. A brave play. Yeah, you had to hit that one well. It was a second serve. 40-30. I wonder if he'll go to the forehand again. Game Felix. Four games all. And uh, on the bright side of things for Leighton Hewitt Nuke is four after games. four service games, his service percentage is at 71%. We haven't seen that throughout the championships at all. It's been below 50%. So that's a good sign early. What about El Anui's first serve percentage? 86%. 86. That's almost ridiculous. Getting about 9 out of 10 serves in. Love 15. Called wide. Ella knew he didn't like the call. Mike Morrissey's in the chair. Looked like it was definitely out. Love 15. Questionable is good. Replay the points. First serve. I can't understand that because the, was that on the serve, that call? No, the lines and the base linesman called the ball out, but, then it, he, but the, it took the, uh, the chalk. Q. But then he corrected his call. I guess that's what happened. So look down there, he was given the safe sign. Love 15. Oh. 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 15 all. That one was long. Yeah, it's a fraction deep. mentioned from Morocco. He's just got one singles title. That was in 1999. 15-30. Oh. He's born in Rabat in Morocco and lives there. Speaks five languages, this young man. He didn't it's like that slice backhand though. 15-30. No, he realised it was a big point to make an unforced error on. Another good first serve. Hundred and eighty three kilometers. linesman he thought the ball was out in the middle of that rally so he did well to hold himself together come up with this last forehand 40 30 that's a huge forehand and that's the big shot so out of trouble 40 30 game and a good first serve to the forehand he holds five games to four for a set In the crowd here, they wait overnight for these tickets, queue up outside, and uh, a great many fans 
Yeah, well, they got kangaroos, they got binoculars, there's cameras, and uh, they make a lot of noise supporting Leighton Hewitt out here today. He's serving to stay in this first set. 15 love. They've got a big day ahead of them on centre court. Pat Rafter coming up in the third match on centre. That's for sir. Knock the phone off its hook. <laughs> Underneath the umpire stand. Get on your mic, give us a smile. He's a good umpire, Mike. He did a lot of Davis Cup matches for us. Trade in Fred, the, the deep one to the backhand. Yeah, he's more susceptible to that one uh, than than Hewitt is, isn't he? Hewitt seems to be able to get back and play that with the two-handed backhand. Illinois prefers the slice when the ball gets deep. I think a good tactic for Hewitt to employ would be to keep Illinois moving around in the rallies. Don't get into it just hitting to one direction. Mm -hmm. Keep him moving because Leighton's got the far superior court speed. It's 40 love. Yes, well done. There's not a lot on that uh, slice backhand. Nuki just sort of floats it, and uh, Hewitt doesn't mind generating his own pace if he can get himself set. Five games all. Uh, five all. from right to left, then wrong foot him, wait for the short ball, take advantage of it, good play. Love 15. now love 30 another good solid rally from Hewitt love 30. finally extracts the unforced error Illinois going for that big forehand that's the weapon that uh, wins his matches for him bad time to play a drop shot love 30 down he was behind the baseline look where he is 15, here he's two 30. meters behind the baseline when he hits it his weight was falling backwards Hewitt was all over it unfortunately played it the wrong direction yes Illinois was looking for that that uh, from the slice he moved directly over to the forehand had a good look at the pass 15 30 15-40. Play there at 15-30, pushed that one back with not much pace on it. Wasn't a good shot from Illinois again, was it, from three metres behind the baseline then, trying to 
hit a forehand winner. A couple of bad forehands in this game. 15-40. Break points for Hewitt. Oh! Backhand goes long, so Hewitt scratched the first break of this match. It's six games to five. I see the reaction from Leighton Hewitt here. Looks over to a little group of Aussies in the corner. He likes to identify with the folks in the crowd. He knows where they are as things progress. and He is now serving for the first set. Love. Still keeping that first serve percentage up there at 72%. It's That's good terrific. To see. Yeah. Yeah. Let's first serve. He actually picked it up towards the end of his match against Dent, didn't he? He was under 50% on first serves for the first half of the match. And he, he was in the high 60s for the second half of it. It was 41% at one stage. Another good serve. He's attacking the backhand there, and Elanui is uh, trying to play a slice backhand. He does hit a two-fisted backhand very well. But, um, Thirty love. working isn't it the way in these points spread where he's moving him around from left to right I suppose early in the match he was just it was a sorting out period he was just trying to get a feel of the weight of El Anui's shots what he could do what he can't do three set points now Game and first set. That's the opening set. To the number five seed, Leighton Hewitt. The reaction of the number five seed looks up to his family and his coach and one set to love. And this is the stats that tell the story of the first set, Nick. There's the first serve percentage from both players. Excellent. And the points won on first and second serve. Look at El Anui on his second serve because he hasn't had too many second serves to, to play because he's getting so many first ones in. Unforced errors, eight for El Anui and only three for Hewitt. Good set of tennis for Leighton Hewitt there, Fred. I think he'd be pretty happy with that. Yes, he certainly should be. As we mentioned, at, at three all, it was a probing six Second games sense. to try and Elanui work things just, out. And then it was uh, Hewitt who got to the backhand, the one-handed backhand of Elanui, that gave him the opportunity to uh, get the service break and then win the set. Illinois, as you mentioned, only winning 17% on second serve, 17% of the points, so he's really got to make sure he works that first serve in. Yeah, I think that'll lift up considerably. I mean, he's, he's, hardly, hit it, he's yeah. hardly had to hit any second serve. So he's probably hit half a dozen and lost five of them. Picked up another one there. It's a nice easy rhythm he's got on his serve, isn't it? Uh, doesn't take a lot out of himself, he uses his height, he's not hitting it that hard. That one... Uh, 100 miles an hour, that 101 miles an hour, 162 kilometres.
that one was even a little bit slower. Yeah, 159. And, Full um, It's not a bad tactic. Getting a lot of first serves in and then try to dominate the rally with your big forehand after that. 40 love. You have to say he's hitting his forehand harder than he's hitting his serve at the moment. And Elanui wins the sets. opening game of the second set. Fred, you were talking about the crowd before. I went walking across in the park this morning and it was the uh, the biggest line that I've seen so far this week. I mean, it was oh, almost twice as long. I knew how long the lines are anyway. Yeah, they get to be miles long. Yeah, the whole park was almost covered across. So I wouldn't be surprised if that number gets beaten today. You feel sorry for the people that are at the end, end of the line. <laughs> and there's quite a few Aussies out there too. You, you feel like if you had the tickets, you feel like going up and saying, here, mate, have a couple of these. And unfortunately, that doesn't happen. We've had 204,070 folks through the gates in the first five days. Slice backhand of Ellen Newey's Nick. Um, he's worked that out, Hewitt. That just doesn't do any damage to Hewitt at all. It just allows him to set up. Thirty left. Kept very low. Skidded through a bit, caused the miss hit. 30 Sneak attack, that one. 40-15. Leighton Hewitt came in here as uh, the hottest player on the circuit on grass this year. He won two tournaments, two warm-up tournaments prior to Wimbledon. And so his record so far up to this stage is 14 wins, no losses. Pretty impressive. Oh. He's also defended two titles this year, which is pretty impressive. That's a tough thing to do. Defended the singles title in Sydney. And also at Queen's Club, where he had to take out Pete Sampras. He beat him in the semi-finals. And Tim Henman took Tim Henman out 7-6, seven, 7-6 six, seven, six in the final. So the form's been brilliant coming into the championships. bad luck he really had to hustle to get to that one the big fella and he got to it well set himself up one game all second set got the ball about net height so he was able to get something on it one game all
Good shot. Very good shot. Zor Elanui sneaking in again. Just a little Love slice across court. Nothing fancy about it. This is a lost art, really, Nuke, isn't it? You don't see too much of this type of stuff, and you can see how effective it is to the incoming volley to try and stretch for something that's going across in front of your body like that. Love 15. Not getting back to that one. Yes, Leighton is a, a great counter-puncher, and that's one Not of his perfect. tactics when someone approaches the net. He likes to just slice the backhand down low and force him to volley up, knowing that he's got such good passing shots on the next shot. And topspin lobs. Great counter-puncher. following through after your shot, isn't it? Even when he hit the winner, 15, he kept running. 30. Excellent shot and very brave too at Love 30 down. Right. A good solid serve. Nothing spectacular. Uh, to the forehand. Thirty all. It's a, you know, Hewitt's getting a little frustrated there, but it's a, that serve there yeah. was 177k, but it's deep. If you look where it's landing, it's landing very close to the line, so it's hard to get anything on your return. was in all over that one. So he holds third. It's two games to one. Second set. Hair or tennis? Aussies cut it. Yeah, well, there you go. That's obviously reference to our two superstars here, Patrick Rafter and Leighton Hewitt, who have both uh, done that in the last couple of months. And their hair cut very short. 15 months. 15 months. It's a good spot out there, that picnic area, and uh, if you can't get tickets to get in here. It's, uh, it's rather crowded when matches get close, though. Uh, you can't get into centre court or court one, that's the best spot for you. Well played, a lot better forehand, the cross-court one from Hewitt. Early on in the first set, a lot of his cross-court forehands Third were landing seven. short, as they were against uh, Taylor Dent the other day. And yet in his first round match, uh, after the match, I remarked to him how uh, good I thought his cross-court forehand was. And he, he said, it seems on grass he likes to hit it better than he does on clay. Probably nuked because the ball stays a little bit lower, do you think? I'm not sure, but, you know, remember in Paris, a lot of his cross-court yeah. forehands didn't have a lot on them. 40 love. always going to work against a big tall guy like this. Fred, there, there was a couple two of young Aussie old. girls on the show the, uh, two nights ago. Um, they were all dressed up in Aussie clothes and they were singing a song about Pat Rafter and when Mark Woodford and I were yes. walking back from the courts. Do you remember saying that? that? Yeah, yeah. They were right in front of us when we were walking back and I said, hey, you two, uh, were you on our show today? And they looked around and thought, who's this big buffhead talking to me? So... <laughs> I said, you were on Channel 9, and you were singing these songs Pat about Rafter Pat Rafter, yeah. and uh, your parents rang up and the channel <laughs> <laughs> and said, how dare you put my daughters on like that? Yeah. So they, they, had a, they had a ball. We had some photos awesome. taken with them, and um, 
They had a lot of fun doing yeah. that. Yeah, it was very nice. I'm sure they've, so if the parents are listening now, I'm sure they would have rung you up anyway as soon as they got home. Two all now. Love 50. Fifteen all. Again, not a heavy serve, but in the right spot. He's going to land so close to the lines. That's three, three aces he's got. 183k, that one. And it's a heavy serve, isn't yeah. it? Although it's not, the speed isn't there like a Ivan Izovic. Oh. Keeps coming at you. Good defensive play from Illinois. I like that play. If you're in trouble and you've got no real 30, shot 15. to play, throw up a high defensive lob. Frustrating for your opponent. They're, they're in the winning position and suddenly they've got to restart the rally. Full team called, called good. Good was waiting for the Cyclops machine to go off. Uh, Mike Morris, he says, good. 40-15. Ace number four. Game. 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 Comfortable service hold. Three games to two, and a bit late, Sedge, but that's okay. Aussies are doing fine. Gene's probably got to get him a cup of tea. The <laughs> trouble is he doesn't drink tea. 3-2 now. Illinois. around for a big fella doesn't he as we mentioned he's six foot four meter 93 but he moves well love it's not a bad passing shot from Hewitt off a very deep approach shot <laughs> he just put his racket down there and flicked it over didn't bend his knees too much Fifteen. well that's the first one we've seen him have a crack at with the two-hander for a while he's just been trying to slice those back slide them back into play Fifteen all. The ball kids here do a super job. He's he's trying Once not to laugh because yeah. he nearly got hit. He Let's first. He knows the boss will be watching him. Caught laughing out there. <laughs> Try not get another centre court job. They're very strict with him. Yeah. Elanui trying to force the pace a little bit the last two points. He had the love 15 occasion. And there's the replay. <laughs> Backhand that nearly took kit. the ball kit out. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> He's all right. 40 15. Forty fifteen.
Shane Hewitt. They're always going to give a tall fella like Elanui trouble, aren't they? The balls yeah. that skid through low. He played that in the Three middle of the court where sets. the court is just a little more worn. You can see the round patches more so on the centre court where we've had a few serve and volley matches. So it's three all. Been out there for an, exactly an hour. Well, it gets into a contest of speed around the court. Peyton Hewitt's one of the fastest men. Love 15. And he really moved Elanui around. Gave him low ones, high ones, a little bit of everything in that rally. Love 15. Right. Well, he got away with it. I thought he'd, he missed hit his approach shot off the forehand a little bit. I thought he was going to go long. But just Love enough 30. top spin to drop in. I'm happy to see him venture into the net a few times. I just uh, think he volleys well enough to go in there behind some of the uh, ground strokes that he does hit. Love 30. Good serve. Again, not a huge serve, but right in the right spot. 15-30. He had Love 30 two games ago. Right shot, wrong fellow. But, uh, 40, 30. Too tall. Get over there. A good leap there from Anui. Well, Anui, and you see the ball bounce over Hewitt's head. 40, 30. Game. Alanui. Anui stays on track with his serve. They got it, all the Aussie supporters. An update on round three in the ladies' singles. Lindsay Davenport uh, over Patty Sneeder. That's a pretty easy win. I think Lindsay Davenport may possibly win the title here. Is that and your pick? That's my pick. Nadia Petrova. Finally drew you out. Sylvia Farina Elia. No, I've had my pick right from the start. I'd like to have a double with um, Pete Sampras and Lindsay Davenport or Pat Rafter and Lindsay Davenport. And my saver in the ladies' singles would be Capriati. And was that all? You only want about four picks, do you? No, just two on either side. Let's second serve. You've gone for who? I'm not saying at this stage. <laughs> so you've got 16 picks then. Ah! 15 left. <laughs> it's, it's either Rafter or Hewitt, and you're not going <laughs> to no, get me to no, see either know. one. Yeah, I know. I, uh, uh, why would I think he wouldn't give me an answer?
a little careful here because um, it's Elanui who has the luxury of serving first in this set, so he's always ahead. And he's at 4-3, and um, so Hewitt has to keep his concentration, keep alert here. 15 all. Yeah, he's just gone closer. off the boil a little bit, Hewitt, at the yeah. moment. His first serve percentage is down to 59%. And it was up at 71% after the first set. So he's dropped it down probably to a, for this set, uh, you know, probably around 50%. 15.30. Yeah, he other thing, Fred, is this is a set that where Leighton's had his chances so far. Field. He's had two Love 30 games. He had another game. He got the first point and was ahead Love 15. And each occasion, he hasn't been able to make anything happen, mainly due to Elanui's good play, I might say. 30 all. That's an excellent serve. That one was uh, 40, not a lot on it, but it was in the right spot again. Yeah, you don't need the pace, do you? It's just placement is really more important, I think. That was only 165k. 40-30. If he can keep the tall man on the move, as long a stride seconds. as he has, he's not as quick as Hewitt. So we're all even now at four all, second set. It's quite amazing the difference, isn't it, Fred? If you look at Taylor Dent the other day, served one at 230k, and Leighton's first serve going in at 160, 170k. <laughs> That's a huge difference. Love the team. Love 15 again. Something's got to happen sooner or later if he keeps getting the first point in these games. God, man! 15 all. He hates that, Leighton, when he, he gets ahead in a game and makes an unforced error to let them back in. I don't blame him either. Now that was a routine shot. He was just trying to work the, the backhand over. 15 all. It's an excellent serve again. At the same Let's speed as, as Hewitt's wide serve. Only that one was a, a metre and a half up the singles line and swinging out wide 30 50. Oh. got away with he, one there yeah be angry with himself there he really had to struggle to get up to that short ball to get those long wheels in motion as he was trying to run forward from a standing start I don't know what happened. He took his eye right off the yeah, ball, didn't he? I don't know what he was trying to do with that. 30 all. Oh. Actually, in the opening set, this is where Elanui played a couple of very poor points to give uh, Hewitt the break.
good shot there. Tough one to go back in behind his man from the depth from where he was in the court. Well, the key really was the pace because Hewitt's so fast he almost got to that. But that extra little bit of pace, yep. that's what won the point. 40-30. So easy when he gets that forehand going, Alanui. That one. So a couple of years ago at the US Open, he had Pat two sets to love. Three all, love 40 on serve, and Pat got out and won in five sets. He's got some talent, Arasi. by both players a real tough searching point and I like the way Elanui is going about his business here he's really trying to make things happen in this set he knows he doesn't want to get behind two sets to love so he's willing to take a few chances like this one down the line The slice backhand, he didn't do, uh, try to do much with that. 15 all. They've got three pretty good players now, Morocco, haven't they? Yes, Kareem Alami is the other one. No, just uh, looking at that, there's three uh, Moroccans all uh, pretty much in the top 100. Really in the top 50. 30, 50. It's interesting how the three of them have come along sort of the same time. Together, yes. Alami, Arazi and Elanui. That'd be a tough Davis Cup team to play in Morocco. Yeah, they're, they're a pretty tough Davis Cup team to play anywhere, I think. 30-15. Yeah, well played. Tough competitor, Leighton Hewitt. Loses 14, the first 15. point with a long searching rally and comes back and wins the, wins the next three. 40-15. Strangely enough, Ella knew he didn't play a grass court event before coming to Wimbledon. Knew. He went and played on clay. He went and played a challenger in Germany on clay and he reached the final. He lost to Andrea Gordenzi from Italy and came straight here to Wimbledon. Hewitt now sets. gets to five all in the second set. Had a bad knee injury, Illinois, and he sustained that at the Australian Open. And so he had to retire in the first round there. And that's why he hasn't played much at all this year. He won only one of his first nine matches. That's just a big wingspan, isn't it? And the 
whether he thought he'd missed this first up. volley, the backhand one. Or he, else he didn't think uh, Hewitt was going to get to it. But anyway, he held his net position good. That forehand when he moves around the backhand and he can play the off one or come back to your forehand. That's the one that's impressive with me. That last one that he hit there, that's a tough shot to hit and, and keep it in. That's the one that uh, Hewitt has a bit of a problem with, isn't it? Yeah, he drags it into the net or pulls it wide. 30, at five all in the first set, he made uh, yep. his forehand had been great for him all set, and then all of a sudden he made a couple of unforced errors on it. There's one now. He's hung in there well this game, El Anui. 40-15. Game, El Anui. Well, he cracked that one, that's as big a serve as he's had. Yeah, ace number five, he leads six games to five. And the Aussies in the crowd, and Yelena Dokic over Barbara Shett in the first set. She's had another good Wimbledon, Nick. Yes, looks very good, Fred. It's Leighton Hewitt now trying to get into a tie break. Yeah. A little extra pace suddenly on the forehand once again. This is the end where uh, he struggled a little bit on serve last time round, Hewitt, from that top end. That's the Royal Box end up there. 15 all. that until he set it up and then delivered the big shot once more 15 30. 15 30. you almost see him setting that up couldn't you waiting for a ball on his forehand that was just in the position he wanted and then making a hole into hewitt's forehand side good serving just when he needed it 30. Push that one long and go to the backhand. So it's set point to the Moroccan. Please. What, please? Thank you.
Oh, and Elanui, you can see him, he was jumping all over the court there. He made a jump to his right and his left. Uh, almost illegal. Looking for a forehand. This is Elanui's reaction after winning the second set. And these are the stats, Nick. Well, there's the first serves in, and this is for the match. First serves in for Hewitt, 58% for the match. But it dropped down to 45% of first serves in in that second set. And it's what we alluded to at around four games all. Leighton better watch out because he'd just gone off the boil a little bit there. Unforced errors, about the same. Points won at net. Backhand winners. Hewitt way ahead there and uh, forehand winners. A little bit of an edge to Elanui. That's his big weapon, the forehand. The backhand is just sort of a pretty steady shot. Leighton Hewitt waiting for Eunice Elanui. He took a bathroom break. You're allowed two of those in a five-set match. That's the rule now. We were never able to do that, Nick. We didn't have any chairs or anything, no bathroom breaks. Went out there for four hours and just had to, hey. Yeah. The other thing, Fred, about uh, Elanui was that uh, his first serve uh, percentage Time. in was, again, very high in that set, 69%. But he, he won the uh, points on his second serve. Remember, he was only 17% on his second serve. He was at 70% of points won on his second serve. So that was really a very good set by Elanui. A couple of games he was down love 30 good on sets. his serve, and he played very Elanui good points to get seven. out of it. Got a real battle on our hands here now. And as I mentioned, uh, right at the top, this is the first time these two have ever played one another. I can't believe how many of Elanui's serves are hitting the line or landing just inside. And he's a tall lad, as we mentioned, and he's just getting them up between 112 kilometres an hour. What's that? 100, 112 miles now. 180 kilometres to 200 kilometres an hour. And just good, steady, three-quarter pace hitting. Love 30. let down here after winning that second set this is where Hewitt's got to try and take advantage of the situation early break love 30 and boy he's been successful on that one hasn't he the one out wide 15 30 Let's show you how well Elanui played that last set. He only made five unforced errors. Uh, a 12-game uh, set, that's pretty good tennis, isn't it? Very mingy stuff, not giving yeah, it's not his giving opponent much, anything. No. Ken Rosewall sort of stuff. He's made some inroads there, hasn't he, into Hewitt's forehand, forehand. side. Yep. Well, I think that if you, if Leighton had an Achilles heel, I think it would be the forehand that breaks down. That's the one that uh, we spent a lot of time working on over the last couple of years. The, the backhand is very safe. 30 all. Yeah, I love 30 here. Pulling off it, not finishing the shot. 40-30. Most of the errors are pretty much into the net. Let's see if we can pick anything up here. Not going through the ball very much at all. Coming back around the shoulders. Game point. That's a good yeah. shot. A little bit of confidence now from Elanui. That's not a good sign for Hewitt. You One game please. to love. One set all. Yeah, just looking at Elanui's face at the end of that second set, he had a real sort of confident, 
look on it, didn't he? Like, oh yeah, I've got the measure of this guy now. I think I feel good about this match. Yes, he does, and uh, you know he's he's played a couple of five setters. His his five set record, his career five set win loss record is an impressive nine and three. And uh, one of the uh, that five reads setters, competitor, doesn't it? Yeah, one of the five setters in the first round match here when he took out uh, Kempis, 12-10 in the fifth. So he possibly could have been out of here. He's down two sets to one in that match. Came back and won it. So he's won seven of his last eight five setters, Elanui. That shows he's a competitor, as Nuke mentioned. Shot. Gee, that's a lethal forehand when he goes after it. You really can spread you wide and he's able to come up with extra pace. That's a, one of the good things about it. When he wants to generate a little bit more power, he can. Second serve. Fifteen. Elanui was inviting Hewitt to hit that second serve. Almost went over there on his feet. You can really pull your knee out doing that. He was inviting him to go down the middle there. He was standing right over in the alley. You know. I think he's got to try and do more of that, Fred. He's got to try to get in on yeah. Illinois's backhand. When he gets 13, the short 15. ball, yeah. Yep. I, if he keeps hanging around the baseline and just having rallies with Illinois, it's going to go right down to the wire. T15. I've only just finished two sets and they've been out there for an hour and 30 minutes already. Game Hewitt. Good service game from Hewitt. One all. Well, now he's got to be a, a strange character though because he's, he's never offense. played another grass court tournament outside of Wimbledon. Doesn't play any warm-up tournaments coming here. He's been here for a few years. Last year he got to the third round, comes off the clay, strolls into Wimbledon, and his best performance is, is a third round. So he's looking to try and better that today. If he does, he'll be the first Moroccan ever to reach a round of 16s here at the championship. 15 love. Well, his game plan there is he, he probably thinks, well, if I go there and just play one match on grass whereas all the most of the players in the world have gone to the grass so I'll hang around the clay court tournament get some match play and also make some more money 30 though. Leighton's job now is to try to find a way to get to Elanui's backhand at the, at the moment Elanui is moving around his backhand and dominating the rallies with his forehand that's the way Hewitt won the first set The best way to do that, uh, I, I think, would be to hit some good solid shots wide to the forehand, but it's no use playing a sort of half pace over there. He's got to take a little bit of risk and go for it, open up the backhand, expose it. Get to the weakness through the strength. It's a good serve, straight at the body. Then a very loose 40, action 15. on the serve, relaxed action. 40-15. Game. Ellen 
Wayne Black. Wayne Black is a lucky loser into the championships. There was about five players pulled out just prior to play, and Wayne Black took advantage of that. So he won a couple of rounds before losing to Enquist, who's in fine form here at the championships. Enquist, obviously, from Sweden. He's uh, working his way quietly through the draw, isn't he? Yes. Enquist. And uh, not, not a noted grass quarter either, but heavy off the ground and a good serve. Slice back end now. The slice back end is getting very deep into the court and hasn't allowed Hewitt an opportunity to get in. And then he rips the two hander down the line. So, uh, playing a very smart tactical match at the moment, Illinois. 15 He's also in a bit of a purple patch, too, Fred. Yep. A lot of his balls are landing just inside the lines. And this is the time in the match when you've got to hold the fort. You've just got to hang tough and try and just go along for a few games until he goes off the boil. 30-50. Leighton is usually not bad at that. He smells the match very well. He's constantly looking down the other end, having little glances at his opponent to see what he's looking like. Forehand again. Again into 30. the forehand corner. Look where this one lands. Thirty all. Be uh, happy to see a loose better. shot like that at 30 all. Oh, it's been a rare thing for the last 45 minutes. Unforced error. Nice forehand. Game Hewitt. Jumping out of the Moroccans book. That one pulled deep into the forehand corner. It's two all, third set. Two games all, third set. One set all. Wir sind dann jetzt im dritten Satz bei vier beide auch dieser dritte Satz absolut ausgeglichen. Und der passt. Die Kreide staubt auf. Ein klares Zeichen dafür, dass der Ball gut war. 30 beide, auch wenn Leighton Hewitt das für einen kleinen Moment nicht wahrhaben wollte. Ja, das sind diese Aktionen am Netz, von denen man erkennen kann, dass das nicht unbedingt sein Spiel ist. Chance for you. Und dann der Fehler mit der Vorhand. Ist ein bisschen überhastet diese Aktion. Die nächste Break Chance für den Australier. Mit der Rückhand der Fehler, das Break, Leighton Hewitt führt mit 5 zu 4. 
und hat nun also mit eigenem Aufschlag die Chance, diesen äußerst umkämpften dritten Satz für sich zu entscheiden. Einas. Ballwechsel dauernd, umso mehr hat man das Gefühl, dass Juhet den Punkt machen muss. Seine Fehlerquote extrem ja, niedrig. Manchmal glaubt man, dass er stundenlang den Ball übers Netz spielen kann, ohne einen Fehler zu machen. Sehr schön variiert. Alle Chancen nun bei Juhet. Ein vermeidbarer Fehler des Marokkaners 40-0, drei Satzbälle für Leighton Hewitt. Und dann hast der Blick hinüber zur Familie, Vater und Mutter sind ja da. Er macht also das 6 zu 4, geht mit 2 Einsätzen in Führung. Dann der vierte Satz. Auch der ausgeglichen. Nur Nuancen haben bisher den Vorteil für Hewitt gebracht. Fünf beide. Aufschlag L1. Schade, schön nach außen serviert. Und auch der Return nicht sonderlich gut. Trotzdem ergibt er diese Chance. Der nächste leichte Fehler hinterher, 30 beide. Und Glück. Glück für Leighton Hewitt in dieser Phase, ein Netzroller. Fragt hinterher keiner mehr nach, aber natürlich ein immens wichtiger Punkt. 30, 40, die Break-Chance bei fünf beide. Auf die Linie. Die Fans sind übergeschwenkt im Laufe des Spiels. Am Anfang Hewitt mit deutlich mehr Applaus. Jetzt sind sie auf Seiten des vermeintlichen Außenseiters. Sie wollen noch mehr sehen. Sie wollen einen fünften Satz. Aber Jules hat genug von fünf Satz spielen. In der letzten Runde gegen Taylor Dent musste er über die volle Distanz, bevor er den Amerikaner bezwingen konnte. Auf die Linie, auf den Mann, wieder Einstand. Und gerade das letzte Spiel von Leighton Hewitt gegen Taylor Dent, eines der besten yes. überhaupt in Wimbledon 2001. Da war er so nervös, dass er bei einem Seitenwechsel seinen Pferdeschwanz neu richten wollte, Leighton Hewitt, bis er feststellte, die Haare sind ja längst ab. Vorteil Elanui. Wunderschöner Vorhandblock von Leighton Hewitt. 
über den Marokkaner hinweg. Da muss man schon eine hohe Flugkurve haben, denn der ist 1,93. Da kommt an so manchen Lobversuch dran, der war nicht zu schaffen. Pass hinterher. Ja, und so intensiv und auch gutklassig wie dieses Aufschlagspiel des Marokkaners waren die meisten Szenen, speziell ab dem zweiten Satz. Alles drin in diesem Match, sogar die Zauberkiste wird aufgemacht. Elanaui mit einem Rettungsversuch. Der allerschönste Art geht leider schief. Yes. Trotzdem ein toller Ballwechsel. Wechsel schöner als der andere. Elanaui will unbedingt hier einen fünften Satz. Er macht das 6 zu 5. Kurz darauf aber Leighton Hewitt mit dem 6 beide bringt sein Aufschlagspiel durch. Und dann waren es ein, zwei kleine Fehler im Tiebreak, die Leighton Hewitt den Vorteil brachten. Der Marokkaner kurzzeitig nicht konzentriert genug gegen den unglaublich beständigen Leighton Hewitt mit einer 6 zu 2 Führung der Australier in diesem Tiebreak und mit vier Chancen das Match zu beenden. Das Irre bei Leighton Hewitt ist, er spielt eben konstant auf diesem hohen Niveau mit einer wahnsinnig niedrigen Fehlerquote vom ersten Ballwechsel an. Der Marokkaner leistete sich ab und an eine kleine Auszeit und das nutzt Hewitt aus. Insbesondere in so kniffligen Situationen wie ein Tiebreak, der nun mal keine leichten Fehler verzeiht. 6-3 Hewitt, drei Matchbälle und eigener Aufschlag. Und die Eltern von Hewitt. Und der kommt dann doch nicht mehr zurück. Die typische Hewitt-Geste zum Abschluss des Spiels. Ein äußerst enges Match. Vier Satz Erfolg für Leighton Hewitt gegen einen Marokkaner, den man spätestens mit diesem Spiel nicht mehr als reinen Sandplatz-Spezialisten bezeichnen sollte.